Okay, day 334. Uh, I'm going to entitle this one, Do Fake People Exist? Now, that may sound like a silly question, uh, but when you first uh, hear it, you think, okay, obviously, fake people don't exist. But they actually do exist electronically. If I'm a hacker, let's say, and I hack into a loan system, let's say it's brilliant, B-R-I-L-E-N-T, and I hack into their system, and I hack into a person who works there who's a loan officer, and then I start approving loans for my houses or my cars, in a way, I'm affecting the world, I'm affecting reality, and so therefore, I exist. So all I need is one confederate, uh, a woman, to handle any situation where somebody might call and go, hey, did you approve this loan? And if you get the call and it's you've impersonated a woman, you need a woman to answer the phone. If you are a man, obviously you can do that job yourself. And then you can threaten them with an EEO lawsuit if there's any additional investigations. Or if you're Imran, you can threaten to kidnap their children in Pakistan if they're from Pakistan. So I just wanted to say that all these houses, these 12 different houses and the 22 different businesses, and we find more every day. Actually, that, I, I, that's a number from 90 days ago. Um, how could so many people be in these houses? They're not really. They're, they exist virtually, just like Zoe uh, and Freitag exists at 4, 4809 Sprayer Street. On paper, if you were trying to go through the counter drug program right today and buy stuff on the GSA program for counter drug program, you're a law enforcement officer and countering drugs anywhere in America, you work for the JTTF or the Coast Guard, you would be contacting Zoe Ann Freitag with her number that would go right to either Imran or Hina. So that's what I mean is um, you actually do exist. You fake people do exist. Ra'u Abbas does actually exist in a way because he's getting checks from Congress. If you follow Ra'u Abbas, now I'm not saying there isn't a Ra'u Abbas that was a friend of Imran's in high school or in Pakistan. I'm not saying there wasn't a Hasib Rana that was actually doing the configurations of the Blackberries. I'm not saying that those people don't exist. I'm just saying the congressional version of where the ones that are going on to Capitol Hill don't really exist. So all these things, just keep in mind, if you boil down all the aliases and you think about the addresses, the addresses, the addresses, you can have as many people in the house. It's not like a physical limitation with real people. You get about six, seven people in a house, even with Imran's huge four-story, 7,000 square footers in Lorton, still you start getting on each other's nerves. If you have fake employees, you can have hundreds of fake employees in every home. The key is keep following the addresses as they move. It's usually Hina, a confederate, female confederate, and Imran. That's why in court, we really only saw one person, which was Imran. We didn't see Rau come to cheer on uh, Imran. We didn't see Hasib Rana come cheer him on. We didn't see uh, Hina Alvi even. A, a lawyer appeared for her. So we don't even know if that's... I mean, that could even be Debbie Wasserman Schultz for all we know. Not saying those real people don't exist somewhere else, but I'm saying in the sense that they exist in Imran's home, they are fake. There's fake employees. Where you have fake employees, you have fake loans. Where you have fake loans, you have fake homes. With fake, uh, fake loans for homes, you also have fake loans for cars and everything after. Just follow Rau Abbas around Virginia and you'll see that they just are inseparable. Imran and Rau are just inseparable. Hey, if anybody wants to recreate a meeting with Rau Abbas, now I'm not saying occasionally Imran isn't going to send a, another person out to meet somebody in a dark parking lot to convince them that Rau Abbas exists. But does Rau Abbas really exist? Does Cristal Champagne, does Cristal Charisse Pepignon really exist? No, we can just quote them. We'll just give that lead over to Luke Rosiak over in uh, at the Daily Caller. Now, maybe she does exist, and that's why I put the call out to her yesterday, paging uh, Crystal Champagne Charisse Pepignon. So, anyway, uh, I hope she does exist. Give me a call if you do.